Hi there. This is Ms. Nunez. Simply talking to you about all the personalities, trying to put them all together. Um, so, hi there, number ones. Um, we number ones um, tend to be perfectionistic. Um, they're many times leaders, and they can't understand why other people don't follow the rules. Um, ones can be really extroverted and want to push their standards on other people, uh, wishing that everybody else was the same way because they wish the entire world were a perfectionist. Uh, but the quiet ones really keep it to themselves and they work on improving themselves. Ones tend to be really practical and pay a lot of attention to detail. Uh, we value the rules and traditions. Um, sometimes we get too many ideas about the world being a better place. Um, we do have a tendency to be innovative, trying to find new solutions. Um, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. You are responsible for yourself. Um, and we are very logical, analytical, sometimes kind of critical, and not that touchy-feely kind of person. Um, however, we want the world to be a better place. So some people really focus on helping others. Um, and, you know, we are dependable, organized, and structured. Um, sometimes they can be flexible and adaptable because you have to be in order to make things better. And um, number ones are usually kind of judging. Uh, here we go with the twos. Twos wanna help other people. They're really talkative and dramatic and they have a lot of energy. They get their energy from other people and receiving attention from other people. Um, they focus all their energy on others. Um, they love to share their ideas and talk about things. Um, they're warm and empathetic and try to help other people get along. Um, sometimes in wanting to get along, uh, they can also be very objective and less about themselves and more about others. Um, they're more of a feeling type than a thinking type. Um, they can be really conscientious, kind of stressed out about helping other people, uh, very responsible and orderly, um, but they're more easygoing and lighthearted and adaptable because they want to help other people. And their main way to think about the world is feeling and getting their energy from others. Uh, number three, uh, achievers are pretty outgoing. They wanna get things done. Um, they are more action oriented than the perfectionists. They're good communicators. So they kind of um, join the, the twos of helping other people. Uh, with the ones, and so all of them kind of are triplets. Um, so threes um, are thinking about the future. They're, they have a very good um, imagination. They can be very much uh, visionary, though still very realistic. And they pay a lot of attention to details and solving problems because they like to get things done. Um, they can be tough, objective, and goal-oriented, uh, many times the boss. Uh, they do get along with others, um, and they like structure and being organized and being efficient. Um, they can be adaptable because you have to be if you are um, going to be efficient, and they are extroverted and tend to think a lot more than feel. Uh, number fours are very sociable and very expressive and sometimes really out there. 
Um, they are sometimes serious and reserved, uh, turning all this um, expression inwardly. Um, they do like to um, get action and live more in the here and now uh, than to imagine things. Um, they can be insightful and idealistic and interested in the world um, and imagination more so than in reality. So romanticism is imagination, not romantic like, ooh la la, I love you. Um, sometimes they can be very sensitive and emotional and warm and empathetic. Uh, sometimes analytical and objective in order to notice other people. Um, they focus well and persevere. Uh, sometimes they can be impulsive and not make decisions very well, uh, but they definitely turn inward more and have more of a feeling nature than a thinking one. Uh, five observers are extroverted and outspoken, sociable, mm, very intellectual kind of thinking people and assertive. Sometimes they can be a little bit shy, reserved and quiet, uh, observing inwardly. Uh, they are realistic and practical. They like data. They like to classify things and have theories. Um, and think a lot, insightful and scholarly. They like to learn. They like to use logic and analysis to solve problems. Sometimes they can be a little bit sensitive, uh, but more so of a thinking kind of person. Uh, they are organized and determined and tend to put their ideas into action. Uh, they like to finish what they started and they are very much the thinking type. Um, sixes, the questioners, um, they're also very talkative and sociable. Sometimes they're um, reserved and private because they're asking questions on the inside. They tend to be practical and dependable and traditional, uh, very individualistic, uh, innovative and thinking about the future. They prefer talking and thinking uh, and doing so into action. Um, sometimes they can be critical, a uh, little bit objective and logical. Uh, they like to argue and counterpoint uh, other ideas. Um, if they are feeling types, they can be loyal and very dependent on people and a little bit um, paranoid and anxious. Uh, they really like structure and closure and finish what you started. Um, and so that's, that's a six, you know, the questioner. Seven, oh boy, they love adventure. They're very talkative, get up and go, very sociable. They like to go, 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 kind of hyper and fun loving. Um, they have a lot of variety. They tend to be ADHD. Um, sometimes they bring it inward and get very busy by themselves. But usually um, they're very playful and action oriented. They like to experience things more than observe. They have a very good imagination and imagination, I mean, creativity and good ideas. Um, they're objective and logical, very challenging. So they like to get in your face about it because they like adventure. So they would have adventure with people. Uh, sometimes they can be a little more quiet and sympathetic, but that's kind of unusual. Um, they can be a little bit bossy because they like to get out there and do things. Um, sometimes they keep their options open because they love to be uh, in, you know, a little bit flexible and touch and go kind of person. And so those are the adventurers. Eights are asserters. They too are very energetic and exuberant. They speak their mind and they love the fast pace. 
Um, many times they're very forceful and very bossy and leaders. Uh, sometimes they can be a little bit private and take inwardly their assertion, um, but usually they're outgoing. Um, they tend to be very practical, pragmatic, and interested in the facts, so they're very thinking. Uh, they have a vision and a lot of innovation of finding new ways. Uh, they can be very direct and analytical and blunt in your face. They speak their mind. Uh, they do because they speak their mind. They're helpful and supportive. Um, sometimes less forcefully so, um, but usually very assertive. Um, they make decisions easily. They're organized and don't give up easily. They like to get up and go, spontaneous, restless, a little bit ADHD. Um, and so those are eights. Nines, the peacemakers. They too are very sociable, like the helpers, number twos. Um, they're very talkative and energetic. Um, sometimes they're kind of quiet um, and tend to lay back and watch, uh, but wanting everyone to get along. Um, they can be very traditional and very practical, down to earth and accepting of others. Uh, sometimes they can have be a little bit idealistic because they want everyone to get along and interested in the world um, and humans and ideas and possibilities. They can be really, really um, easy to get along with others because they don't like any confrontations. So they like to please people. And so they want to get along with others and everyone and they like to have closure because if we don't have closure then we have no peace uh, so they like to keep um, themselves very flexible with op options open and um, because the they have difficulty closing things um, and completing things it can be hard uh, for them because they want everyone to get along. So those were my explanations. <laughs> Hope that makes sense.